to another episode of Big Bear Boston Combo, episode number 71. Who becomes the new future king of the welterweight division between Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis? Let's break it all down in this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. On Twitter, Virgil Ortiz's trainer came out and said that, you know, you can see he, he, Boots mentioned everybody else but Virgil. That was that wasn't his train. That was his. Oh, I'm sorry. His manager. His yeah. manager. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, like, what's your thoughts on that statement? Well, well, he evidently he, he hadn't been talking to Virgil and, and, uh, and Robert Garcia because you already you heard what they stated. They ain't fighting Boots till uh, 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 what four years down the line. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know that. You heard it. Boots versus Virgil. Good fight, but I think Virgil knocks him out. Ron, along with yourself, the guy that everyone seems to think will take over the division is Virgil Ortiz. Um, do you see that as well, that that's, that's a big fight down the road? You would be the last two standing of this next generation? Uh, I'm going to be the last man standing in the uh, Watcher division. And, uh, I f I'm the best in this week division. So we're going to break this video down like we always do. Round one and round two. Um, who's going to be the future king of the welterweight division between Virgil Ortiz and Jerron Ennis? Let's get it right into it. Uh, we're going to start at round one with Virgil Ortiz. Um, I think he's a he's a phenomenal fighter. I think he, he has a lot to bring to the table. Uh, one thing that, that gives me a little bit concern about his style of fighting, it's not so much, of, so much of him as being a fighter, but his style of fighting, I think with the Mean Machine uh, fight, it, it, it was uh it was it was strange i think that that's a fight that he he could have lost he got hurt a couple times i think he got dropped a couple times too but me machine does have power and uh i think he dropped uh in the fight with terrence crawford i think he dropped terrence crawford too so it, you know anytime you get to the to the square circle anybody can get hit anything can happen um you you really don't know until you put two talents against each other and you and you see things manifest but i think that virgil ortiz is on the right track I do think he's going to be a future star, but as far as being a, the, the king, I, I don't I don't know. Um, I, I can't really see him beat. Uh, I, I can't really see him beating Jerron Ennis for for a couple of different reasons. I think Styles make fights. I think that Jerron Ennis is a lot faster, but we're going to talk more about him in the second round. But I, I think that he, as far as you know, being in contention to actually taking over the welterweight division, um, I think that he's he's there. I think he has a chance. I think he's he's. Robert Garcia has him in, in the right place. Uh, I think it's some things, especially with the way his style of fighting, I think he needs to work on his defense a little bit more. Uh, but his personality, his star power, I, I think, you know, a lot of Mexican guys, they can come into the to the, uh, to the sport and become huge. I think them guys, they, they carry themselves a little bit different. They, they if, 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 A lot of times with the Mexican style of fighting, they're going to come into the ring and they're going to put on the show. A lot of times, you know, even with Canelo, Canelo is, is a little bit different. He has a different type of style. I would say he has more of a, a, a slick type of style, but but the traditional Mexican style, you're going to you're going to come forward, you're going to bang. And that's what that's what Virgil Ortiz brings to the table. He has a exciting style that a lot of people want to see. It's easy to sell tickets. It's easy for him to make a lot of money, get some of the bigger fights. A lot of people will be hunting him down just based on his uh, his, his his style. I think I, I like his style. I like the, the Mexican style, the, the, the action pack. But I think that, you know, him being in a, in a higher weight class, a lot of times you see some of the, the, the shoot and gun uh, type of Mexican style in the lower weight divisions. But he's in, obviously, I think he's he's pretty tall too, I, th I think. I think it's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, for that weight class. I think that's about normal. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, his overall style and his likability, and you know um robert garcia and them they got a lot of stars in their camp i think he does a really good job as far as uh bringing those fighters up i think it's, it's very easy and then being around oscar de la hoya oscar de la hoya has been there so they know what it takes to build a star i think that virgil ortiz has everything in the bag to become a major star in the sport of boxing and also become a very high contender in the welterweight division but let's get into round two So welcome to round two. We're going to get into Jerron Boots in it. So this guy's phenomenal. I don't have to say too much about him. His style, everything. He's he's action-packed. He's uh, the future. 
is a, just a reincarnated version of Roy Jones. A lot of some people don't think so, and I'm, I'm like, I, I don't know what you watching. Uh, but a lot of people ain't from that era to where they got to see Roy Jones Jr. and all them, them great guys come up. But uh, he, that's who he reminds me of, and that's just my own opinion. I think a lot of other people can agree. But this guy is phenomenal. He's action packed. Uh, it, it does take more than just winning fights to become a star. A lot of like Terrence Crawford, you got. Uh, you know, a couple other fighters that's very hard. They, they, they skill wise, they a star. But when it comes to action pack, they not action pack because of the personality and and, and 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 all that other stuff that comes with being a superstar. But Jerron Ennis is special, man. He's uh, and I say that more than just about his style. But I think he beats Virgil Ortiz. I think you know, hands down, I think he beats him. I think he actually stops him. I think Styles makes fights, and I think that Jerron is a little bit more technically. He's a lot more technically sound his defense is, is, is a lot better even though he still has to work on his defense too because he gets uh hits clean but uh he can take a punch as well but that only lasts for so long that the, the higher up you get especially fighting somebody like Virgil Ortiz you've got to be careful because he can drop you too but I think that his style alone and and the way he he presents uh you know the, the tricks and stuff that he shows even at 20 23 24 years old this guy is very sneaky he can I, you know just watching this fight he can set you up and i think that the way the, the come forward type of style is a, 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 a easier style for drum to, to um to defeat because he's a he's a counter puncher anytime that you're coming forward you're leaving yourself wide open you don't come you know virtual artist yes he uses dab everyone you know everybody uses dab uh, use a jab when you first start no um in, in like round one and round two but after that you kind of get rid of everything and then you looking to hurt the guy and i think that's virgil ortiz's style which is a, is a very exciting style in in a traditional mexican style but i think more of a, a slick boxer it's easy to beat that type of style because you can set him up you can you know he's not going to see certain punches coming because he's just being so aggressive and i think for me, style with stylistically wise, I think it's so easy for Jerron to actually beat him, um, and, and that's just who I that's just who who I pick to win. But other than just just him beating Virgil Ortiz, but becoming a star, like I said, becomes it takes more than just, just winning fights, and, and it's proven in sport. Look at Devin Haney; he's not he's a his style is a star status. Well, it could it could create a star, but he's not a superstar. Um, but then when you look at Floyd Mayweather, he used that same type of style, but his his personality on the outside of the ring helped him become a megastar. And I think that uh, Jerron Ennis, I think his style, his flashiness, I think that can uh, is is easy to relate to in the way he carries carry himself, uh, especially in interviews and how you know he's a, you can tell he's a very humble kid. And I think that he has a he has what it takes to uh, win. Uh, championships in, in the welterweight division and also on the outside of the ring i think he has he, he will have a lot of fans he will not be one of those guys that's really good but nobody respects so we all know you know if you're watching boxing you're not blind to the guys that, that that's that's really really good like terrence crawford if you had to break down terrence crawford and uh errol spence i think errol spence would be the bigger star because more people can relate to him um, they would call Terrence Crawford more of a boring uh, guy on the outside of the ring. But, you know, as far as him inside of the ring, he has a lot of fans. But on the outside of the ring, a lot of people probably don't relate to him. I relate to both of them. But Duran, Duran Ennis is super special. I do pick him to win to beat uh, Virgil Ortiz. I really hope the fight that uh, takes off. I think his dad is doing a really good job in training him. Um, and I think that he's being brought up on the right type of uh, in the right type of environment to actually see and um, like I said, I, I really hope to see this fight in the future. It may be four years down the line. But you guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below. That's going to conclude another episode of Big Bear Boston Combo, episode number 71. You guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below. If you want to see what I'm wearing, shoptanti.com. Follow me on all social media platforms that are currently on. Links will be down in the descriptions below. With all that out of the way... Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo.